Hey, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel. This is just going to be a vlog for a school project I have to do, but I thought I would upload it anyway because activism is part of um, what I include on my channel. Um, so yeah, there are going to be some weird edits probably because of requirements for um, the project versus what I think is entertaining, I guess, or interesting to put up on my channel. Um, so yeah. There's going to be a lot of footage of, well, I guess you'll just see. So for part of an insurance thing we have, um, and by we, I mean my parents and I, um, twice a year you can request up to $250 for a service project of some sort. And I thought that this would be a good opportunity to use that tool. Um, and so I got $250 um, on a debit card to buy... Um, materials to make masks with um, and that's this right here So it is currently September 18th, um, my mom and I just went to Joanne's to get a whole bunch of fabric. The last clip you saw was of my dad and I who went to Joanne's yesterday um, because I really, really wanted to get some fabric so I felt like I was doing something. Um, but my mom and I just spent like $140, $150 on fabric um, with the Thrivent debit card. And there are a lot of cute fabrics, I'll show you a few. Um, in the next clip, so here you go. So it has been a few days since I've recorded anything, um, and that is because I've had a bad week, starting with the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg and my grandma, and so it's been a and like a whole bunch of social anxiety for other classes, and so it's been kind of a, a not good of a week, you know. <laughs> this is why I write and not speak. Um, anyway, I was just going to show some more stuff that I got for the masks. I got some black and some white uh, elastic cord for going around the ears. Um, and I've got some um, pipe cleaners for uh, the bridge the nose so that they can so that people can uh, like adjust it so that it fits them a little bit better if they want. Um, and this weekend I'm going to be working on learning how to uh, sew a straight line. Um, and my mom had printed out some papers uh, with so much like straight lines and like kind of slightly curved lines that I can use um, on the sewing machine without thread so I can practice sewing in a straight line. Um, and then I'm hopefully going to start making the mask, like the actual masks in the next couple of weeks. Um, after I do like a couple practice masks with some um, old fabric scraps that we have and I have been in touch with someone from uh, Orange County Public Schools and they, she sent me an email for a high school and either an elementary or middle school, I'm not sure which, 
for which I can deliver the masks. Um, so now I have someone to actually give the masks to once I email them. So it is October 5th and excuse the mess behind me, um, but I'm just gonna practice sewing straight lines with some straight line printer paper that my mom has for um, at our different sewing websites because um, I've never really used a sewing machine before and so I need to practice sewing in a straight line without any thread before I start the masks. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I did it here and I'd say, you can't really see it, but I'd say that's straighter than most of my friends. <laughs> I feel like I'm a kindergartner showing you a drawing. That's great. In a way, you are. You think people are born knowing how to sew? No. It's like any other skill, like playing the guitar. What do you have to do? Practice. Yeah. Uh, so my mom and I made a um, prototype mask with some of our own fabric that we had, um, not fabric that I bought for the masks, for the schools, um, and she used some of her own elastic that she had. Um, we kind of like, she sewed half of it to show me and then I sewed the other half. It fits, for me it fits like this, um, I look like I have a turkey neck here. Um, and it's squishing my long nose. Um, so I'm thinking that I might make the elastic a little bit longer. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, but it's pushing down on my nose. <laughs> so for ones that I make for myself, I'm going to definitely change it, but we're going to for the masks we're making for the students, we're gonna make them taller, um, a little bit, and have the elastic be longer, um, yeah. Oh yeah, we're, I'm also currently washing the muslin, which is just like an ivory color, or off-white colored fabric that goes on the inside part of the mask that goes against your face, um, and later I'm gonna wash like in a day or two, I'm gonna wash um, the other, like outside fabric, the cute fabric, um, with like separating darks and lighter colors using a lot of color caches. Um, but for some of them, my mom wants to do like a zigzag stitch or something to keep them from fraying. Um, but since I just know how to do straight lines, and she's gonna do that for me. Um, but in a few days, all my fabric will be washed, and I can start cutting and sewing. Hello, it is Sunday, November 8th. It's been a while, um, but please ignore my messy hair. It's been a week. It is it's the day after Biden was confirmed to be the president-elect, um, and it's been a stressful week. So I haven't been able to hardly do anything or convince myself to shower. So... Good thing smell vision is not a thing. But I'm just going to be working on... My mom's been helping me cut out the fabric sizes for the masks. And I'm going to be sewing a couple of them today. I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch, like maybe five, because it, cause it's like 6, 5 p.m. And I've got some other assignments I have to finish for other classes before midnight. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just working on masks. It may not be enough. 
my nails match the heat protector finger uh -huh. things. The cots? Yeah. This is like trying to put washi tape on my reading journal. Is it? Kinda, yeah. Trying to keep it straight and not bubbling and as close to the edge as possible without being off it. Yeah, yeah, it is, exactly, exactly. So I can see how it would be the same. So are you targeting 50 to get finished for school? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So my mom is buying, or she's finding some more of these finger heat silicone protector thingies um, so that I can get on Amazon with the Thrive and Debit card because I apparently use my ring finger a lot when I'm working on the fabric tape stuff uh, and I keep getting burned and then I'll like have them for myself um, for when I do personal projects. This takes an unexpected amount of strength. Like, I knew ironing had to be like, taut and stuff, but I didn't expect my arms to be shaking. That's a sign that I need to work out more. <laughs> stack of um, masks that are ready to be sewn on the top and bottom. I still have these one. Um, and then after that I'm gonna be folding this over with the hole and this over with the hole so then I can put the elastic for the ears through. Um, and that'll probably be tomorrow or Tuesday at some point. Um, yeah. And I've got a few here and I'm going to use these pliers <laughs> that my dad let me borrow to cut them into thirds, so about three, four inches, um, about three inches, um, while I am watching YouTube. So I just tried to sew the first mask, like the long side, um, the horizontal side, and for the first one, and I kind of did a poor job. Um, it's because on the top there's the um, pipe cleaner here, and I have to be careful of it because if I sew it, then the metal part in the pipe cleaner will break the sewing needle, and we don't want that to happen. Um, and I kind of... <laughs> We had a lot of back jacks here. Um, so that's what the first one looks like. Gonna have to scrap this one probably. So that's fun. So um, I'm working on sewing the top and bottom. And I'm having issues with the top where the nose piece is. Um, it keeps making... When I sew it, I keep making it kind of uh, messy. And so I'm just gonna be sewing the bottoms for now, and then my mom's gonna help me figure out how to properly do the top. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna assembly line um, whatever I have done like, uh, with the with the fabric tapes so far, and I'm going to sew the bottom. And then once I have sewn my clips back, I'm gonna continue to assembly line more masks with the fabric tape and iron them. This is a nightmare. This is a rare time I wish I was left handed. 
because it is so hard to press the button over here um, on this side of the sewing machine that you have to press to make it go backwards and I can't guide the fabric as well with my left hand as I would be able to with my right hand. So that's fun. I'm leaving about half an inch or so here um, because we're going to be folding the side over and then doing a seam and then we're going to be folding it over again with like a open space so that we can put the um, elastic that goes around the ears through there and it's going to be a grand old time. Did I just unthread my thing again? I did. Hello? Hey, Mom! Benny. You okay? Yeah. I don't know how I did that, but somehow the tip of this thread is over there instead of in here. I had to reach out the needle once. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what I did or how to fix it. I think it's going to be pretty clear that more than 15 hours was spent on these masks. Well, some people who don't sew may not realize that. Yeah, I feel like she's the kind of person that does sew. She, or she would, or she at least would know. Yeah. Yeah, the prep takes longer than the actual sewing. Yeah. It really does. I'm so getting used just, to like. Yeah, I just can't imagine where the cord to my machine is. Yeah, you because know, I thought it was right here with today's machine. <laughs> Foot pedal is not the cord. I don't know where it's gotten off to. We'll try that machine to see if it's better. But this one can go way faster. Okay. If it's electronic. What's the difference? <laughs> Like, what is this one, then, if not electronic? I think it's, it's like manual and automatic. Okay. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Like a car. It is November 28th. I almost said May. It is November 28th, and we have hit a snag in my making of masks journey. Um, I wanted to try and make at least 50 um, this semester for the students, but... The sewing machine you're using isn't working properly, and my mom is looking for the cord for the other one that she has, and so we're only going to be able to make like 30-ish. Hi, Alicia! <laughs> Sorry, my cat heard me talking to no one. Um, so we're only going to be able to make about 30-ish, which isn't as much as I wanted to. Um, but we can't really make a a lot because of the sewing machine not working properly um so yeah that's a unanticipated road bump it is about an hour or so later um my dad found a cord the electrical sewing machine i think it's electrical um when i asked my mom she said it's basically like an automatic whereas the one I was using is like a manual um, and she said it does so faster and so because I have to kind of relearn how, or learn how to use a different sewing machine I'm not gonna be able to do as many masks as I hoped um, in this time period and my mom's gonna have to like help me sew a little bit because it does so faster and I was still getting the manual one under control so this is gonna be interesting
my great uncle Howard died yesterday and it hasn't hit me yet um, I was very close with him and like we had a really good relationship not seen in years but hi it hasn't hit yet so I don't know so my mom, my mom, my mom, um, figured out a faster way that we can make the masks that doesn't include the tape, which has been very temperamental. Um, and so what she's been helping me with, um, with the new machine is she's put the fabric and the muslin back to back. Um, cause like this is going to be the outside of the mask. Um, she put them like this, did a seam for the bottom, um, and then she used the iron to iron down the seam to help it stick more. Then she, also pardon the music in the back, my mom's listening to Garth Brooks, um, turns it over like this and iron folds this over and irons that to kind of just bend it <laughs> so that once that's done we pull it like this and iron it i'll show you on a finished one um and then it's ready to get sewed on the top sewn on the top um it makes the mask look different obviously but it makes it a little bit bigger because some of them were kind of small um like this one it has It has the top folded over and sewn because this is where the nose cleaner, the nose cleaner, pipe cleaner is for the nose. And then the sides where I'm going to push the elastic through to go over the ears. And then here is just a seam that doesn't have this because it works just as fine and it gives a bit more height for those with long noses like me. <laughs> um, so that's what we're doing. And yeah, that's what the new mask is going to look like. This isn't completely done because I still have to put the elastic through and then we're going to wash them again because Alicia, my cat, has walked on a few of them. Um, but this is what basically what the final mask is going to look like. Hi again. It's still the 30th and we've gone through like 12 different patterns for these masks and I th my mom and I both think, and my dad, because he's been a model for us, thinks that we finally got the pattern <laughs> after a dozen different blueprints um so here it is that she's gonna pleat these bits um and it's like five or six layers in the thickest part and so that's why she's doing it and not me um like i'm obviously still working on it but she's doing the hardest part here um but it's pleated in two places and we're gonna have the elastic, not the comfy elastic, but the elastic that actually is elasticing. Um, and we're gonna tie it. We gonna we're gonna tie it in a knot and then just like thread it through around. Um, and then we try it on. So this is what it looks like without expanding it. This is what it looks like expanded. Um, but the issue before was that it kept like having an air bubble over here, and now with the pleats, it doesn't have that issue. Um, for here it does like have a little space, but that's because I have a long nose. This is what the final masks are gonna look like. So we're gonna have, we have like, I don't know, 10 or so others with the music fabric. And then there's some ones with spacey looking fabric. And then there are ones that's like black and white with colorful hearts. Um some purple and gray hearts on white fabric which are the ones that we're gonna have to change out the thread for instead of black it's gonna have to be white um but we're gonna try and get a few of those done um before we drop them off at the school for the end of this project because there have been a lot of road bumps that we neither of us expected but all i gotta do left after the sewing bit um, and putting the elastic through is I have to get some sandwich bags um, to put each individual mask in so then um, and then I have to drop them off at the school um, the first place I'm taking them to is um, 
the high school I graduated from, and then later when we make smaller masks for kids, um, we're gonna I'm gonna drop them off at a middle school. I think it was either middle school or elementary school. But these are adult sizes, and I'm gonna take them to the high school I graduated at, and then I will be done with masks for now. We also gotta wash them one more time, and then we'll be done. <laughs> it's December first, and we are working on doing the pleating for a bunch of masks. I'm working on pinning and ironing while Mama is using the sewing machine for the thick, like five, six layer parts. Um, my dad had to change the foot on the sewing machine because the one she had on wasn't cooperating because it was too thick. And <laughs> my nose. And she's afraid she's going to break a needle and so I'm going to let her borrow my safety goggles that I have because I don't know where her safety goggles are. It is December 2nd and I am going to watch some trashy uh, reality TV, i.e. The Bachelorette, while working on pleating this pile of, or this stack of masks um, so that they can be sewn so they fit better. And I've got a lot of pins here, so hopefully I don't prick myself too many times. Also has like two weeks to live because of cancer or something. I have watched most of the masks. I've watched all. I've watched all the dark colored masks. And now the white colored masks are in the washing machine. Now it is time to bag them individually. Thank you for helping me, Alicia. Thrilling content. putting masks in bags and as I was trying to like straighten them up and make them so they're not wrinkly or whatever um, I discovered that a lot of the pipe cleaners had gotten messed up and pushed to like all crinkled up and pushed to like one side of where the pipe cleaner is supposed to be for the nose piece and so that happened when it was getting washed and so now my mom and I um, were gonna rip the seams a little bit like an inch and then we're going to use tweezers to pull the pipe cleaner out then we're going to sew it back up and then we're going to bag them so they're not going to have any nose things unfortunately which is really annoying so we gotta uh fix 50 masks again still it is 12 25 a.m on december 4th and i have a box of 50 masks here um i've we took out all of the pipe cleaners and re-sewed that and bagged them and on each bag there's a label that says 
a new mask, laundered to remove chemicals, machine machine wash, tumble dry, low heat, um, for when the students wash their masks. Um, I am so done to be, I'm so done, I am so happy to be done with this project. Um, it took so long. The prep work was like 75% of it. Uh, that includes like cutting the fabric, doing measurements, ironing using the bias type, I think is what it's called. Um, friggin' folding the ends so that, um, like washing, everything like that. And sewing was only like a little bit of the percentage. And it's just. I'm so tired. <laughs> it took so long to do it. It is uh, 12.33 on December 4th and I'm about to drive to Timber Creek to drop off the 50 masks that I've made and have done for the kiddos, the teen kiddos. Um, and yeah because I'm going to be driving, I'm not going to be able to record, obviously, and I don't think that I'll be able to have the camera to like show that I did drop them off because there'll be minors on campus, and that's not good, so I'll, I don't know. Here's the box of stuff. It won't be there when I leave. <laughs> so I just dropped off uh, the masks. There's the school. There's not a box of masks. Um, so, yeah. So that was my journey with making masks. It was very exhausting and very time consuming and very stressful. Um, I always bite off more than I can chew with projects when it comes to helping people, like with masks, with lavender living especially. Um, but it's done now. And I hope this vlog was somewhat entertaining. I kind of experimented on editing and stuff. Um, so if you like this video, get a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload. I upload relatively regularly. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.